How's it going? It's Mike from Black Diamond. We're here on our Boo Bear Street project in Tioga. Let's go take a walk through and see what's going on. Right now, we're going on demo day three, but we have a small crew of guys. We can't work with our full crew due to the corona. So, due to the coronavirus. So, we're a two man team at this point, going through, seeing the demo. This is pretty much going to be our first floor layout. Uh, open concept, as big as possible. Our stairwell, we're going to end up changing our stairs and wrapping these directly down and take it off this angle turn. Uh, coming through. You see, as we went to demo, we're missing five layers of bricks. It's a good 30 bricks missing up here. Window lintel, torn to shreds. Once again, we're going to replace all these windows inside this whole property. Um, as for our plans, this steel beam right here was not in our plans. So now we have to go back, get our architect to redraw this wall that we're going to end up keeping. Redraw it up on the plan so that we can resubmit it to L&I. Um, right here in this corner, we're going to put our half bathroom. Vanity, toilet, walk into the kitchen. Here goes the basement staircase. We're gonna end up moving this basement staircase underneath the second floor staircase. First, we're going to the second floor so that we can have more open space in our kitchen. So, this support was not built correctly. As you can see, it's sitting on two two by fours. Then you have two by sixes, sift it together in order to try to support the back bed. Now we won't go upstairs. I'm gonna take you guys up there shortly. You're gonna see why this is not correct support for your structure. So right here in the front of the house, you have your vestibule. We're gonna have to take the vestibule out. Um, and then along the door wall, we're gonna end up exposing brick from door all the way to this wall that's gonna be built. It's gonna give it that extra, I don't know, as they say. <laughs> uh, coming over here, we have a chimney stack. We're gonna end up removing this chimney stack all the way down into the basement. But remember, when you're removing chimney stacks, please remove it from the roof top first, then work your way down. I know a lot of people, they demo and they leave the roof stack still on. That's dangerous. When that thing comes crashing through, you'll have a lawsuit. So let's go upstairs. We're on the second floor. We're in the back bay. Back bay starts right here at this corner. As you can see, drywall's cracking, or the plaster wall's cracking. The the windows are sinking inwards. You can see we have gap space in between these windows, even trying to put them all the way up. Windows slanted. This is why that beam that was put downstairs, that support beam that somebody put in was incorrect, which is now causing this house to slope in the back. We're gonna have to repair that, jack this up and or rebuild it. This is day three of our process in Bouvier Street in Tioga. Once again, cleaned up, wrapped up, all tools laid to the side, project all clean. Come back tomorrow for day four to see the progress.